There's a bear! Hey, dude. Hey! Oh, he's so cute. Remember those bugs we need to wash off? You should put my window down. Okay. <laughs> Look how crazy these things are. I love your spikes. Me too. All you guys want to see is this. That's the magic stuff. Isn't nature great? We are Brittany and Drew, and for the past six years, we've been exploring the world by van. From the U.S. to Canada, Europe to Africa, finding so much peace, inspiration, and joy in immersing ourselves in the great unknown. But now, with our world changing what feels like every single day, our route feels more unknown than ever before. But luckily, we have found comfort and direction in exploring our country's awe-inspiring national parks. And in today's episode, we're taking you with as we discover the crown of the continent, none other than Glacier National Park in Montana, where we navigate some unexpected closures due to COVID, but end up creating our own route, leading us all to one unforgettable day. We invite you to subscribe and buckle up as we embark on yet another adventure together. And now it's time to enjoy the show. We got new kinds of neighbors today. As you can see here, our hood is raised. And generally, a raised hood is never a good sign if you're trying to get somewhere fun, like a national park, especially when it's glacier. <sighs> but Drew's taking care of it, and luckily we have some roadside assistance from some fellow sprinters. So let's see what happens here. How are things looking, Captain? We got a voltage of 13.8. We're back in action? We're back in action. I had switched out the AGM gel battery for the lithium battery to do a little testing on our isolator, but all that matters now is everything's working together. Woo! Get those bugs. We're on our way to the Apgar Visitor Center. Fingers crossed that there is a ranger outside of the visitor center. There's not a phone number that we can call to figure out what trails are open. Not even the backcountry permit office is accepting phone calls right now. We need a ranger to tell us what adventure we can embark on. <laughs> what trailheads are open? Can we do the Highline Loop that is so epic? Although I've heard that all of the shuttles are not operating for the entire 2020 season. Or that boat on that hike that we loved last time so much. But unfortunately, the east side of Glacier National Park is not open this That's year. That's right. The whole east side of the park is closed. So Dawson, Pitamakan, that hike that we loved so much when we were here back in 2015. Yeah. It was so beautiful. Yeah. But anyway, onwards. Let's see what we can get ourselves into this time. Huckleberry pie. Huckleberry land. Did you guys know Brittany and I have never seen Star Wars until COVID hit? We are watching and binging all the episodes in order that they were produced. So I think we're on like movie eight now. We're on like Rogue One. We just watched Rogue One. Oh look! Oh! oh. That's how excited I am for <laughs> Huckleberry ice cream. Hot pie. Cherry. That'll be a 4 It's so thick. If you guys have never had huckleberry, it's like a mixture of blueberries, raspberries, and cranberries all in one. And they grow here in Montana in the mountains of Glacier. So there's huckleberry everything here. Love it. Go! We're being chased by dinosaurs! <laughs> And a Wookiee. Oh, but the Wookiee's nice. <laughs> Popping in to tell you a little bit about the sponsor of today's 
episode, and that's Native Deodorant. If you guys have never heard of Native, it's an all-natural deodorant brand that uses no parabens, no sulfates, and no aluminum. Instead, they use ingredients that we know and love, like coconut oil and shea butter. It's so good, I almost could eat it. If we were stranded on the trail, at least we'd have a snack. <laughs> We made the switch to all natural deodorant because I was actually getting a rash using the other stuff, so I couldn't be happier with this switch. Plus, Mr. Adventure over here smells great all day. Yeah, it's not sticky at all and it dries quickly. Plus, they have so many amazing flavors. Not only do they have lavender and rose, which is my favorite. Coastal oak and amber, I really like this one. There's also eucalyptus and mint. And normally three deodorants cost $36, but using our link below and the code Mr. and Mrs. Adventure, you'll get them for just $24. So that's 33% off and you get free shipping. Yeah, so 24 plus free shipping, what a smoking deal. So we hope that you guys will join us in the movement of smelling good the natural way. Staying fresh out on the trail and in the outdoors. Let's get back to that adventure. There's the sign! Glacier! <laughs> Woohoo! Mm -hmm. This shows all the campgrounds, all but one open. How's your day going? Good, how are you guys? Pretty good. Alright, have a good one. Thank, Thank you. you. Is that Apgar Visitor Center open? Mm -hmm. Two miles straight ahead. Perfect. Thank yep. you. My favorite part about entering the park, getting the literature. <laughs> and look, this has the map for Glacier and Waterton which is the first international national park in the world. It splits the border between Canada and the U.S. There's even a peace trail where you can hike from the U.S. into Canada. You have to bring your passport on that hike, and I'm pretty certain that that is probably closed right now due to COVID. Most definitely. Yeah, but isn't that cool? Glacier was also the eighth national park ever, so it's one of the original ten busiest entrance we've seen today. Yeah, I was just thinking that. We have not been to a national park that was this busy yet. So this is about as open as the visitor center gets right now. There's a ranger outside answering questions. So hopefully she can help us figure out how to do the Highline Trail, which is like the most incredible trail in the park. I was hoping that we could do the Highline Trail, mm -hmm. but I've heard that the shuttle is closed. Yeah, and the Highline Trail is actually closed right now due to snow hazards. Shoot, okay. Bummer, but have no fear. Mr. and Mrs. Adventure and their trusted ranger are here. <laughs> I guess that could be really awesome, actually. How many oh, miles? Yeah, that was my question for time. That is a good question. That looks like a lot of miles. We have a game plan. Our ranger friend Erica was so helpful. She let us know that everything over here is closed due to COVID. Everything on the east side of the park. And even the Highline Trail that I thought that we were going to be able to do, that's closed but because of snow. Yeah, she said there's too much snow up there and there's some avalanche conditions. Which is wild because it's the middle of summer. So instead, we have come up with our very own loop. She said that she had actually never thought of doing this as a loop before. So she really loved our idea of trying to make that happen. And she's going to do it in the future too. So tomorrow morning. By 8 a.m. We gotta be here. Feeling good about our new plan, we decided to spend the rest of our day driving along one of the most scenic roads in America, Montana's Going to the Sun Road, which is the only road that stretches from the east to the west side of Glacier. Originally named the Trans Mountain Road, Sun Road was first designed having 15 switchbacks winding up the enormous mountainside but instead engineers decided on one one massive switchback known as the loop that helps take drivers up to the 6646 foot apex at logan pass a massive rib of rock that carries the continental divide through the park's interior finished on july 15 1933 
We rode along the 50-mile engineering marvel, keeping a watchful eye out for grazing animals like bighorn sheep, mountain goats, and some other unexpectedly frightful sights. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Wow. Just pay attention to the goat. Look at him. There He's so curious. <laughs> oh no, I tried to avoid it. With smiles plastered on our faces, we found ourselves awestruck with wonder as we tunneled into the very mountains themselves. One wondrous detour after the next. Remember those bugs we need to wash off? You should put my window down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. This the is the weeping wall. Isn't that beautiful? That's super cool. Wow. That's cool. How refreshing. Trust us when we say that everyone who visits Glacier National Park owes it to themselves to soak in these awe-inspiring sights. That is one healthy marmot. Do you guys know what tonight is? Pizza night! <laughs> Star Wars! Star Wars! Here it comes! The Last Jedi. That morning, we found ourselves going back up the sun road before anyone else was up, including the sun. We just parked at Gunsight Pass Trailhead and we're going to go counterclockwise going up here to the Sayi Pass, which is supposed to be one of the most incredible spots in the park. We may or may not make an extra jaunt over here to see a glacier. We'll see how we're feeling at that point. And then we'll continue our loop, making it all the way back down here to Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Got the bear spray handy. My boots are tied tight. Got the water full. Got the bug spray on. The lunches are packed. <laughs> we are set. We don't really know how long this day is going to take or how many miles are in store for us. I'll set my tracker and that way we'll know. My guess is about 16 miles. Maybe nine hours? Yeah. So let's get started. It's 9 a.m. We got a trail ahead of us. It's going to be a gorgeous day. This is pretty. Really pretty. It's like super lush. It smells like flowers. Smells like my deodorant. <laughs> Is that good? Is that good. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It's as tall as you. Would you rather be watching out for grizzly bears or rattlesnakes? Grizzly bears. Yeah, it's kind of more fun. I'm not a snake guy at all. <laughs> I like my bears from a distance. When we were here in the park five years ago, we weren't permitted to take the road to the sun because there were forest fires and we were just observing the forest that we're in and if you look around all the trees are burnt and we think that was the fire from five years ago with the new undergrowth part of that renewal process of nature having a fire reseeding and regrowth it's really beautiful to witness it's beautiful. 
little fairy cakes. So beautiful. You love how the water glitters. Can't get enough of these colors. Welcome to St. Mary's River. Incredible. The many peaks that surround her. Look at all the snow up on these sharp peaks. So amazing. And waterfalls and we have one more waterfall right before we start our ascent. Our 2,500 foot ascent. Sai Pass, away we go. 5.6 miles, all uphill. I'm hanging out where there's no wind right now to tell you guys a little bit about the history of Glacier National Park. So originally the Blackfoot Indians inhabited the area. They would hunt bison in the valleys and they would prey on the tops of the mountains. And then it was George Bird Grinnell who became very good friends with these Indians and he fell in love with Glacier, which we can completely understand why. It was actually George Grinnell, Glacier's most passionate conservationist, who named the Sai Pass after Sai, one of the Blackfoot Indians who originally inhabited the land. It means crazy dog or mad wolf. From our next vantage point, the 9,642 foot going to the Sun Mountain stood before us and dominated our view for the next two and a half miles as we made the rest of our 2,500 foot ascent up to Sai Pass. At this point, it was already 1.30 and we had hiked about 10 miles, so we decided it was time to pick a perch and refuel before our final push to the top. There he is! Oh, he's just looking right at us. Hey, dude. Hey, little guy. Hey. Hey. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Blew away. <laughs> I know we should have went over this. What? But can you show me how the bear spray works if a bear comes, how you're prepared? Go. I think like the bear's this. already attacked you. <laughs> can you do it a little faster? Really fast, and then. Arr, the bear's already attacking. <laughs> There's a bear! <laughs> you press this. You press it down? Yeah, I'm not doing it. You gonna do it? No. Put it back in your holster. That's how you be prepared. <laughs> Gotta do a trial run. We're gonna be following this trail all the way up to a glacier, one of the 25 remaining glaciers in the entire park and then we'll be going up and over the saddle right here. So we've met a few other hikers on the trail who have expressed the fact that it is very precarious to walk across the snow. They've seen people fall right through, scrape their legs. Turn around. Turn around, but we can't turn around because we are too far in this loop. Luckily we have crampons and our hiking poles. They said that they think with that we should be good, but otherwise we may be crawling on our hands and knees trying to get across this snow, or should I say glacier. I love your spikes. The cat dance. Give me a kick. Woo! <laughs> Time to make it over to the glacier. These are actually helping. I feel like I'm like completely grounded in the snow. I feel like you can take a nice strong step. Yeah, like I'm not Show going me. anywhere. You know? You yeah, nice. you look great. It's kind of fun running in them. Wow! Wipe out! <laughs> Look at that glacial bowl down there. 
If you guys are wondering why peaks up here are like so jagged, it's because when the glaciers melt, the constant freezing and melting of the snow causes rocks to crackle and break. So it creates these really gnarly, steep tooth-like jagged peaks, unlike mountains that are carved out by rivers and water. You crushed it in those spikes. Was High five. <laughs> We've had some experience on snow in other situations, but never with crampons. And I gotta say, that wasn't too bad. Very impressed. All you guys want to see is this. That's the magic stuff. Isn't nature great? When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright We're getting there I think it's bear poop. Is that bear dung? I don't know, do you guys know? The visitor centers aren't open, so we can't see the- Should I touch it? Poop exhibits. It's hot. No, is it? <laughs> no, it's not hot. It means that there would have been a bear here. Or fresh, fresh stuff. I don't know what that is, but I haven't that's seen- a, That's a big animal though, I can tell you that much. I haven't seen this kind of poop yet. Stay alert. Look how beautiful it is. I got my bear spray right here. We might see that guy. Yes, it is very pretty, babe. Mmm, the bird sounds. Is that really her? That's really spirit. It's like right at the end of our trail. We didn't really know where this was gonna spit us out. Wow. Wow. Look, can you guys see her? Her spirit. That's even better than I hoped you would. I didn't know there was a trail right there. I didn't, I knew we'd be on that side of the road, but. I mean, I knew we'd be close. Spirit! Cool! We love you, Van. <laughs> what a day. It feels really good to be sitting again, back in spirit. Home. What an adventurous day. I'm really glad that that loop worked out. Me too. We started the day not knowing how long it would take, how many miles we'd do. If it was gonna be yeah. just relentless. Yeah. I do love loops though, because it makes the ending not seem so endless as an out and back does. Cause it's like, oh, I've seen this, how much longer? I know. You know? It's like you faintly remember the beginning on the out and back and you just gotta get there. But on a, a loop, everything's new the whole time. And we saw so many beautiful animals. So many flowers. A highlight was being up at the top of that pass after we'd been trudging through the snow with our crampons and then we got to see into Canada. Yeah, that was amazing. That was crazy. Like, we yeah. maybe physically can't go there right now, but it was cool to see into Waterton Park and just see across the border. Yeah, that see was See for nice. miles. What a clear day. Blow some kisses over to our Canadian friends. Yeah. <sighs> but we still need to check our app to see how far we actually went and how long it took us. So. Let's see. Put up. Whoa. Basically, 17 miles yeah. and nine hours. About nine hours. Including our almost hour lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> we just like to take it in and. That's yeah. pretty solid. I guessed nine hours. You did. It said nine hours, 28 minutes, but. Wow. Minus our lunch. Solid. I'm always impressed with how far you can actually travel in a day by foot. It like, is amazing. Like all the way up from that lake to the mountain pass. No wonder. My feet. I don't think you want to show anybody. Really else. rough right now. <laughs> yeah. But this adventure in Glacier Park isn't over just yet. Not yet. Not yet. Brittany made my sloppy Joe with two undersides. Can you imagine? <sighs> I've done that now twice. Two undersides and two tops. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
No, it's all right. I love you. <laughs> You'll be okay. It'll taste just as good. Like, we have waterfalls back here. We do. Look. It was just too good not to share. We were like, okay, and then we'll wait till tomorrow. We're like, we don't have to show this view. We're just gonna... Enjoy it for ourselves. Exactly. But then we're like, but it's too good not to share with you. There's a bunch of photographers down here in the meadow, but they're capturing this amazing view. It's just so pretty. We're gonna throw our photo up so you guys can see it too. Drew wants to show you his photo. Pizza night! Pizza day! <laughs> Today is the perfect day of relaxation, being out on this water. What more could we want than this beautiful scenery behind us? There's a lot of people out here on the water, whether it's in canoes, kayaks, you can rent them right on the shoreline here. And we're gonna go spend a little more quality time together out on the water. It's nice that yesterday after such an intense day on our feet that we can float and be rejuvenated by the melted iceberg lakes. It is pretty nippy. <laughs> it is really cold. Um, but we love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to our channel. Tap that like if you are enjoying especially our National Park series. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun bringing you with us. We have our sights set on so many more beautiful places and we look forward to bringing that beauty and serenity to you. See you guys next video. We love you all. Take care. Be well.